Hey, Crystal, what you doing? Are you on Instagram? Oh, sweet. Yeah, I liked your last post. Great lighting. I hear Instagram really helps with uh, your jujitsu. Oh yeah? Yeah, your, your thumb's gonna be a straight savage on the mats. Thumb wrestling champ right here, huh? Huh? What's that MMA nickname of yours? Queen of the North? We should get some new shirts made. Queen of the couch. Mm, I like Queen of the Quarantine better. You know what really helps your jujitsu? Doing jujitsu. Can't do jujitsu. The mats are closed. Right, so I guess there's just nothing you can do at home, right? Hey, you hear that? What? Wait, shh. That. I don't, I don't hear anything. That's the sound of your cardio quietly slipping away. What? What? Hey, what's going on? So there really isn't much out there for drilling videos where it's a follow along. So I figured I would make one for you. Um, so we're gonna do 10 different movements for about 45 seconds for each movement. And these are core because they are essential in jujitsu and they'll also work your core. So my next video, which I'm about to film, will talk about where these are found and why these are important and how they're related to more technical moves. You can have a better, you know, idea of how to visualize each movement if you're a beginner. Um, so yeah, let's get to the video. And when you find your passion, it ignites you as a person. You just feel awesome. We're going to begin on our backs in the closed guard position for our closed guard push pulls, imagining our opponent's torso inside our legs and we are pushing them away and pulling them close using our legs. Ready and go. We have 45 seconds. Good, just two more and rest. For our next move, we're going to add a bridge. So same movement as before, the closed guard push and pull, legs in to pull, then legs out and bridge. Imagine using the bridge motion to make your opponent bear more of your weight. Ready and go. We're doing this move for 45 seconds. Good, just two more. And rest. Our next move is going to be a forward shrimp, then hipping in to sweep. So we're imagining forward shrimping to get our hips close to our opponent and then leveraging our hips underneath them to sweep our opponent over us. So we're doing this on either side. Ready and go. So forward shrimp, hip in and sweep, and repeat.
good. Just two more. And rest. Next up are hip switches for 45 seconds. From closed guard, we switch the hip that's on the ground. So right hip on the ground, then left hip on the ground, and repeat. Ready, and go. Good. Two more. And rest. Next up are pendulum sweeps. So lower one leg to the side and use that momentum to pendulum our other leg, then sweep both legs under us. We're going from an opponent that's in our guard to sweeping and mounting our opponent. Ready and go. Just two more, and rest. Our next move is raised triangles for 45 seconds. So with this one, get your hips up and alternate closing the triangle on either side. So hips up, right leg over left shin, hips up, left leg over right shin. Ready, and go. Good. Two more. And rest. For the next 45 seconds, we're doing snap down triangles. So imagine you have the triangle and you're bringing your opponent's head to the mat. Ready. And go. Two more and rest. Next, we have a bridge to bridge and hip out or shrimp out, whatever you like to call it. So imagine you have an opponent, our opponent is on top of us, we're in their side control, and we are bridging for an underhook, then we are hipping out to escape side control. We can also imagine bridging and hipping out to escape mount. Ready and go.
good. Just two more. and rest. Our second to last move for 45 seconds, our closed guard frame to sit up. So we have an opponent in our closed guard, we're framing them and we are sitting up. Ready and go. Good. Two more. And rest. All right, our last move is free for you to choose. So choose anyone that we just did, anything you feel like doing. Um, what I'm doing is choosing to add on to our previous move. So I'm doing the closed guard frame sit up, then adding a post to my opponent's neck and standing. Ready? and go. So I'm imagining an opponent inside my guard and I want to frame and make space then post on their neck to maintain that space while I use that space to perform a technical stand-up. Good, finish your last rep. And we are done. Nice work.